the gospel of Jesus was and remains highly subversive. We lose sight of just how subversive it was with the comfort of 2,000 years of hindsight and even the creep of a new status quo. Yet the forces of cronyism, legalism, and establishmentarianism are just as prevalent today. And so is the radical need for Jesus. I'm Michael Quinn Sullivan with a reflection on life and liberty. When I walk through ancient sites in Israel and read through the pages of Scripture, I'm constantly reminded of how disruptive Jesus was to the status quo. Take, for example, what happened at the Pool of Siloam, which was unearthed and rediscovered in the early 21st century during an archaeological excavation. This is where Jesus brought sight to a man who'd been blind since birth. The Gospel of John records the story. Jesus anointed the man's eyes with mud and said to him, Go, wash in the pool. So he went and washed and came back seeing. As you might expect, the man was overjoyed. His life was literally changed in an instant, evident for all to see. Yet the establishment enforcers of the day, the Pharisees, they were aghast. Their complaint was that the healing had taken place on the Sabbath. But you get the impression from John's account that they were more upset because Jesus had done it without their permission. Jesus refused to conform to their rules. He was too busy doing God's will. Meanwhile, the formerly blind man was indignant. He could see. Yet the Pharisees were more concerned with enforcing their peculiar interpretation of the law than they were with rejoicing in an obvious miracle. And because the man had not rejected the gift of sight and wouldn't condemn the one who'd given it, they labeled and libeled him as one born in utter sin. Things haven't changed. Those who would do good often find themselves under assault from the minions of an administrative state operating on behalf of entrenched incumbent actors. Whether that's volunteers feeding the hungry without bureaucratic approval or innovators disrupting an industry with lower prices and better services, today's ruling elite don't want good things to happen if not done to their liking. And those who try to tell the truth about the benefits received from those disruptors, well... They're attacked with even greater ferocity. They're denigrated as unfaithful, as ungrateful, as cheaters, or worse. With whom would we side? The blind man couldn't unsee the world after being given sight. He knew what was true. Should he have backed down? And what will we do? Will we be even more pitiable men, self-blinded to truth? We can choose not to ruffle feathers. We can choose to perpetuate the status quo. We can choose to leave people in darkness. Or we can join in a glorious disruption that brings light to the world. The Reflections Podcast is presented by Texas Scorecard. If you like today's message, be sure to rate it, leave a review, and encourage your friends to listen. Today's edition was produced by Nick Shepard. I'm Michael Quinn Sullivan. Thanks for listening.